It began with light brighter than the sun. One weapon, powerful enough to erase a city and change humanity forever. Imagine that power unleashed above Times Square, city built in centuries, disappears in seconds. The fires spread beyond imagination. Smoke climbs higher than clouds, feeding the sky until the sun itself begins to fade. In that darkness, radiation tears at the ozone above us. Ultraviolet light would pour through, turning daylight deadly. And if that fire finds a reactor, steel melts, rivers boil, and the wind carries poison across borders. One blast becomes a storm without end. Between 1945 and today, over 2,000 test blasts have scarred deserts and oceans. Experiments that taught us how to build the bomb, but not how to live with it. Radiation doesn't vanish when the flash fades. It seeps into air, soil, and blood, rewriting life one cell at a time. And when the fallout settle quietly on the ground, it mixes with rain, slips into rivers, and enters the food we eat. More than once, the world nearly ended by mistake. A false alarm, a dropped bomb, a single command not sent, and somehow, we're still here. In 1962, the Cuban Missile Crisis brought the world within one breath of annihilation. One man chose dialogue over destruction. But secrecy spreads like contagion. Every hidden program inspires another. One nation's shadow becomes another's fear. Cut off from the world, some nations pursued the bomb as protection. Isolation bred defiance, and defiance gave birth to danger. Others insist they seek energy, not arms. But ambition and suspicion often look the same. Between science and secrecy, truth dissolves. We claim these weapons keep us safe, yet they depend on perfect control, forever. One miscalculation, one failure, and safety becomes extinction. Nine nations hold over 12,000 nuclear weapons, each one capable of ending civilization. Deterrence, they call it. Balance, they promise. Leaders speak of peace beneath banners of strength. Their words calm, their hands steady, but the fuse burns quietly beneath the table. The doomsday clock now stands at 90 seconds to midnight. A symbol, not prophecy. A reminder that survival is still a choice, not a guarantee. The first step to ending nuclear weapons is believing it's possible. Because hope isn't naive. It's the only defense that doesn't destroy what it's trying to protect.